Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3 with me, Notorious BLT. Uh, so, here's one of the wonderful and also maybe not so wonderful parts about this area. You can. Whew, if you wish. Fight, ha! Ah, fight the boss, like, super early! Um. Yeah. Hello, giant lightning worm of doom. Wait, are you shooting at the worm? Are you shooting at me? No, you're still shooting at me, because... Of course, I'm the bigger threat, right? Little old me, not the giant freaking worm is about to ruin your freaking life. Weirdos. There's a bonfire back there. We can try to get to. I, I think we're going to give it a shot. I don't remember exactly how easy or horrible it is to try to get there. Oh my lord, you're so electrified, it's very bad. Nope, this is not the way. This is not the way to San Jose. No, sir. This is the opposite of the way to San Jose. Oh my god, it's so bad. Don't get ruined. Ooh! Jeebus. Hope a Jeebus! Want to say over here? Yes? We would like to destroy this worm as soon as possible. Uh, I want to say, like, right here-ish? Is it a good place to stand if you want the worm to die? You shooting or what? You giant crossbow scum? Oh, 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 Jesus. Are you taking damage or what? Yeah, you are. All right, good. Yeah, this, this is, this is like, I don't want to say it's the way to get the worm killed, but it is probably one of the better ones. I do love that whenever one of those strikes, our cape flutters just a bit. Please continue shooting. Thank you. Would you hit this worm, please? Are you hitting this worm? From time to time, it looks like it. But you're not doing a hot job. Strike the worm! There we go. Fire some more. Shoot! Shoot! Shoot, you fools! Yes! All right, I'm, I'm going to try to help these 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 fools out a little bit. It's not going to help a lot. It's, I mean, it's, it's piddly little arrows against this giant creature. Although it it's doing like what 100 damage? That's not so bad. So unfortunately, we do actually need this this massive crossbow for something, uh, and that's something. Did I kill you? Are you dead? You're dead. Excellent. Okay, we got a lightning stake and an undead bone shard. A uh, lightning stake. Mmm, steak. A lost dragon slaying miracle. Strikes with the stake of lightning. This tale describes the lost, the lost practices of ancient dragon slayers who found that in order to pierce dragon scale, lightning should not be hurled as a bolt, but rather be thrust as a stake directly into the dragon's hide to be truly effective. And we, uh, we got a bone shard, right. Now, I also know that there is a shield out here. Oh! Um, oh! You fired three times! Excuse you, I thought you only fired twice! Oh! I... Mm, God, I balls that up. Did they Did they change this? Or have you always fired three times? Shield of Wand. Okay, get, get out of here. I should probably get the bonfire before we do anything else. Uh, shield one? There it is. All right. Shield of an ancient king who was cursed by an all-consuming thirst. In the end, he was no king. The residue of the king's lust still smolders within this shield, increasing the number of souls absorbed when enemies are defeated. And it allows you to use your weapon skill. Um, which I'm kind of wondering how that works when you're dual wielding, or when you have a dual wield thing that, like, Probably just spin around with one weapon, I guess, is how I'm thinking that, that would work. Yeah, you probably just spin, because like, I'm thinking how would that work with this, with this weapon. And it's probably like you do the spinny thing with just one of your swords. Alright, so the reason I came up here is because I want to get this bonfire before we, you know, get completely hosed. Plus, plus. I mean, we can recharge our Estus. And that, if I remember right, is Night Slayer Sorig. Uh, but there's another NPC that you can summon for the boss fight. Though I don't recall what the 
requirements, if any, are. I think it might just be that you have to summon her over here, and that's it. Um, but there is another NPC that you can summon for this fight. And she, if she's, yep, there she is. If she survives, oh my god, you scum. If she survives, uh, she can, or she, uh, hang on. If she survives the fight, she will drop her, oh my lord, I hate these freaking spears. Um, if she survives the fight, she will drop her stuff in a later area. Or not a later area, but an earlier area. Yeah, none of that, please. Uh, is that it? I think it's that wall that we need. Right? Is it that one? I want to say it's that one. Yeah. I mean, we, we are going to come back here and try to get all this other stuff later. Yep, that's the one. Give me that ring, please. Speckled stone plate ring. I was trying to figure out how to get that thing for the longest time, and then I think I just came up to that and got shot by the crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly ups magic lightning, fire, and dark damage absorption. Uh, now, I generally, I think I prefer to start in a specific area within this area. Like, when you're actually going through the what I would call the main portion. Um, and the reason for that is because I kind of accidentally started from this area originally. <laughs> it's not it's not a great reason, but it's a reason. Wait, does this have to get shot by the arrows? Yes, it does. I'll be damned. I didn't realize that. I thought it just happened. I also don't remember which way is best to go. But I do recall... Uh, I don't recall you being here. But it makes sense. Ow! You got some poison there, pal! You got, a, you got a lot of poison. I don't like it. Yay! Regular Titanite shards. That makes me happy. Alright, so I think... <laughs> God. <sighs> it feels like there should be something under there. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Come here. Excuse you! Come here, lizard! Chaos gem. And this is right under the crabs. I mean, you can you can freaking hear them, right? Infused to create chaos weapon. A gem of infused titanite. Relics of land scorched by the chaos flame. Used in infusion to create chaos weapons. Chaos weapons inflict fire damage and scale with intelligence and faith. So, we're not going to be using those. Spoiler alert, it's not going to happen. <laughs> now, I don't actually know if this Karthus milk ring... Wait, is it the milk ring? It's the, the one that, you know, blunt does this that makes us kind of not viewable. Does it actually say that it gives us bonuses of some sort? I thought it did. Well, aside from dex, I thought it like... Oh, fucking god damn it. Uh... Obscures the wearer when rolling. Oh no, it's this one that gives you the... Yeah, boost rolling invincibility, but increases the damage you take. Right. So it's like, get good at rolling. Or die. <laughs> oh yes, that's why that little dude showed up. Because there's bonfire here. And there's actually a secret doorway in this room as well. Which I didn't realize until I had basically finished this entire area. Uh... Please. Just be, be a good boy. Yeah. Give me give me shards. Excellent. I, just, I wanted to get rid of him because otherwise he was going to pursue us into this little corridor. So I didn't realize until I was all the way over there. And I forget what it was that I shot at. Oh, I remember. I was uh, I was trying to put arrows into walls so that when exploring, I could look around and see if I found the arrows because I was shooting bolts with crossbow. Who? Uh, to see if I could find where this this whole thing was, this this situation that I am doing a poor job of explaining. I hate it. I hate the slimes. I hate them so bad. Well, I hate these slimes because they're, you know, basically, like, immune to fire. See? Watch. Yeah. Okay, not basically. They just are.
I don't remember. I think I want to. Ooh, I want to say magic damage is decent against. The, oh my god, they're everywhere. What have I done? I've trapped myself on the other side. Hey, slime. You're dead. You're dead. Good. Get destroyed, slimy poo. Oh, no! I got too far. I got too far. Let me out. Let me out, it burns. I mean, at the very least, you give me some health regen while I'm smacking you, but it's unfortunate. You know, that I have to plow my way through these stupid slimes. Especially when they stand next to the walls and it's hard to hit them. <laughs> Come down, please. I guess not so bad. I mean, it's not like they're they're tough enemies. They're just kind of annoying. Because they take forever to kill! Hi. The oh! Are you going to die? No, now you're just... Oh, fuck. So we just got an Estus Shard. So anyway... Um, what I was doing was I was trying to fire arrows, or the, the bolts, into walls. So I could try to find them later. And then I hit this wall with the with the bolt, and it disappeared. And I was like, what the shit? And I, of course I had no idea where it was until I came back here and looked and was like, what? <laughs> a secret. A secret secret. Alright, we are going to go back to Firelink because we have things to turn in. We've got a Bone Shard and we've got an Estus Shard. Uh, and I think we have enough souls to level as well. Although, actually, we probably have enough to buy another scale, don't we? Probably have enough to buy another scale or level. Well, it's definitely one or the other. Okay, we don't have enough to level, so we, could, we should just buy the, the, the what's-its. Wait, I, I forget. You can get your... I, for some reason, I thought you could only get your Estus Flask to plus five. Why did I think that that was the case? Why did I think that was the case? Hmm. Oh. But that wouldn't make sense, given what we have going on right now. Goodbye. Uh, did we get any further souls with which to? We did. So use this. Let's see if we can use our our new scale ah, to upgrade. Our pokey. Wait, our pokey? Or our slight our, our slicey? I think our Yeah, no, it would be our pokey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what what am I even talking about? Okay. So essentially that's like the equivalent of plus six. Right? Yeah, that's like yeah, that's basically the equivalent of plus six. Because oh the max you can God. get on these if I'm right is plus five. And the max you normally get on your weapons is plus ten. At least in Dark Souls three and Dark Souls two. In Dark Souls one you could get up to plus fifteen. You might say, oh my god, that's a lot. You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, these are... Just a... You're not a... Yeah, you're just a regular arrow. You just cost a lot. And you... Magic damage. Yeah. Well. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know why I stopped talking to you, because I could have just sold souls if I had them. But I don't. So, that's okay. Uh, we don't really need any more arrows. We can just leave the souls we've got. It, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, wait, there was something else I was going to... Oh, right, I was going to burn the bone shard. Duh. Maybe we can get it to plus 10 in this game? Yeah, I think you can get it to plus 10. Maybe it's... For some reason, I seem to remember there was one that had, like, an arbitrary level of 7? No, I don't... I, I don't think I'm correct in that. No. That just doesn't sound right. I'm pretty sure plus 10 is what you can get to in this game. Whereas in Dark Souls 1, you could get your... There was no... Well, okay. you. There were bonuses to your flask. Although now I'm... Oh, th right. Uh, which you could achieve with Firekeeper Souls. Uh, so if you don't know what a Firekeeper Soul does for you and you're playing Dark Souls 1, there, there you go. Oh! You never want to use... Oh, God. You never want to use a Firekeeper Soul for the humanity that can give you. Because that's just... That's a waste is what it is.
Gimme. You were much more annoying to fight than you should have been. <laughs> I should have been better about fighting your ass. Uh, Alright, this, this room, from what I recall, is balls. It's not it's not the most horrible because there's oh there's hey there's no bastard Gru. Oh, okay. I think I think one of these guys is actually considered a bastard Gru, but they're not y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like it's not the one that jumps up on your face. Cuz that one is the true bastard. Oh, the Titanite shards. Isolith Pyromancy Tome. It's so good. Learn Chaos Pyromancy of Isolith. The Pyromancy Tome from Isolith containing Pyromancies of the Witches. Give to the Old Master Pyromancer to learn Chaos Pyromancies of Isolith. Chaos Pyromancies manipulate lava and burst all uh, later forms of Pyromancy. I believe this is a secret wall of sorts. No? Wait, I thought... Isn't there one in here? Am I crazy? Well, okay, those two things are not mutually exclusive. I could be crazy and also that's, you know... Where am I thinking of? Oh, I think I'm thinking of the one with the Black Knight. Er, is this? Did I check you? I did. I know there's there's a bunch of illusionary walls in this place. Just apparently I'm having trouble remembering where they are. And I thought there was a way out of this chamber. Am I crazy? I, hmm, I don't know. I also don't know what is up with these dudes. They're growing like... I, I mean, it's clearly dead... And it's one of those critters that, that we just killed fairly recently. The the Pyromancer grew creature. Wait, are you... Is the tree growing out of... No, the tree's not growing out of you. But it has grown kind of through you? So what is up with these growths? They look like a kind of fungus. Maybe it's like the Chaos Flame taking on another form? I think I was I was talking about this earlier, but like that's one of those things that I absolutely love about Dark Souls is that the, the story is not like set in stone. You don't just know the story. You know what I'm saying? Please be a good boy. Eh. Oh, oh, okay. Wonderful. You know what? Screw you. Well, screw you? Mm, oh, because you're going to come after me and it's going to suck. But you know what? I'm just going to leave you alone for now. Um, but I know I know it bothers some people, and the only reason I know that it bothers some people is because I have I have talked to people that this kind of thing bothers. Um, that uh, the story in Dark Souls is not necessarily complete. That it, that there are things left open ended. Um, and I have to say, oh hi. Uh, I I guess I get where that where that comes from, but like, I don't know. I've never. I don't want to say I've never been annoyed with that kind of stuff, but, like, it's just never been something that I find especially bad, I, I guess. I, I don't really know how to, how to put it. I'm, I, don't, I don't need to know everything to be happy, I guess. Uh, and I, I think that a lot of Souls players are like that as well, at least the ones that, that care about the lore. There, there are people who don't really give a shit about the lore and just are, are about the, the PvP and like the just the gameplay in general, which I can totally get down with, because, you know, the gameplay in Souls games is pretty goddamn awesome, if you ask me. Um, but just that, that whole thought of, like, I don't like the game because it doesn't tell me the complete story and it doesn't answer all of my questions, that I just don't really understand. I guess. Wait, am I going back and forth in the same freaking room? What is going on? <laughs> Wait, am I going back and forth in the same freaking room? I am. My god, this place confuses me so badly. It, it's funny because I used to at least kind of sort of know my way around here, but now apparently I don't at all. Wait, what have I done? Oh no, okay, this is the, this is the little corridor with the man. That is nothing. And then up here... Right, okay, here's the stairs. This is what I was looking for. Up here is that room. All right. And then, is there another way out of here, or is that it? No, it's just those two directions. And that one is a dead end. That one is also technically a dead end, sort of. So this is the only way to really go. And these two lead to the same chamber, strangely enough. Right? Yeah? Yeah, back that way is the same chamber. All right. Freaking mazes, dude. 
But like, so a friend and I, my friend Rig and I were talking to this person about, oh, you scum, about the game. Because he was asking about the story and we were trying to explain it. And we, we, we have said many times to this person, like, the story of Dark Souls is not like super easily explained. It's, it's in fact, like very not easy to explain, especially to somebody who's never played the game before and doesn't really understand a lot of the stuff. Which, I mean, you could say, oh, well, that's bad storytelling. I very much disagree um, on, on, like, a fundamental level um, because I don't think that you need to know everything. Like, so you're playing the game from this character's perspective, and to me it doesn't make sense. To, man, God, the, ah, ah, I forgot there was a second one of you. Um, it doesn't make it doesn't necessarily make sense to be told things you wouldn't necessarily know. Like you are getting the story from several sources. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. Here it is. This is where Black Knight Man ruins a Gru. Yeah. Oh balls. I remember farming this guy for that axe. I wanted that axe so bad. Also get ruined. Oh shit! <laughs> Partially for that move. Because that move is just comedy gold. Especially in PvP. When you land that move in PvP, oh. Oh. There, there are a few things more hilarious than seeing the fear and frustration on a person's face when you land that. Although they have they have lowered the Black Knight Great Axe's damage by quite a bit. Um, and I don't know if it was rightfully so, but I mean, that thing did hit really hard. But it is also slow as dirt. Actually, no, that's, that, that's a compliment. But is that, wait, is that a compliment? No, it is. No, that is an insult to dirt because it is slower than dirt. Dirt is, in, is indeed faster. Uh, let's see. Great sword wielded by the Black Knights who wander the lands, designed to face chaos demons. The unique attack of this sword greatly reduces enemy poise, reflecting the tremendous size of the enemies that the knights have fearlessly faced. And the skill is Perseverance, which is, uh, let's see, raise the sword in the name of the First Lord to temporarily boost poise, damage reduced while activated. And that is where we came from, so we need to go this way. I also want to say that there's like a pit somewhere around here. And I could swear that there was another way to get into this godforsaken chamber. Isn't there? Is it on the other side? Ah! I think it might be on the other side. Yeah, it is. Um, we should come up here, though. And deal with some of the Gru that are up here. Ow. Oh, Jesus! My god, I'm poisoned. What has happened? I hate you. Pokemon! Get back in your ball, you scum! Because he's a Pokemon, so he... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, use this. Unpoison yourself. Well, this is at least going to let us probably upgrade our claws a bunch. Ooh, we got a rotten Gru thing. Was it a spear? Was it a Was it a, a dagger? Because I thought we already got the rotten Gru dagger. Didn't we? Yeah! A crude, half-rotten, curved spear. Choice weapon of the blunt-horned Gru. Descendants of the Acolytes of Farron Keep. The rancid tip is drenched in rotten waste, making it acutely poisonous. And the ability is charge, hold spear at waste, and charge at foe. Use strong attack while charging to extend the length of the charge. This is a 10 twi Hmm. I don't know what you end up scaling with more... But I do kind of like the idea of having a poisonous weapon for certain cases. I don't know if it's going to be super useful. Rather, I don't know if it would end up being super useful. I mean, obviously, I would hope it would. Ah! God, I hate these guys so much. I gotta say, unless you're using a really heavy weapon, staggering them is just, like, very difficult. Or at least I, re I recall it being re relatively difficult. Yeah, go away. Nobody likes you. <laughs> you freaking weird weasel ape demon creatures. Well, actually, you're not demons. You're Gru. So, okay, I'm sorry. I called you by the wrong name. 
Uh, Alright, this just leads to the bonfire, and... Yep, okay. Uh, so now we got to go down to the bottom and see if perhaps we can kill the other weird pyromancer Gru creature that's down there. I hate these fireballs. They are the worst. My god, it's terrible! <laughs> I hate them, but I love them, you know? They make such funny noises. Oh, I killed it! One shot kill? Oh my god! Sniper of the century! Is what I am. No, I'm not. Never mind. Don't, don't listen to me. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Hey! I like it when you're holding those big fireballs like that. Mm mm. No, sir. Who? No, sir. No, sir. Heh. I'm enjoying this one shot kill on these fireballs. Because screw these things. Oh, for Christ's sake. Nope. Okay. Actually hit it, though. Really? Well, I am at a distance. I do. I, okay. I still got to go back and get the hawk, uh, the hawk ring. Where did you. Oh, there you are. Ooh. Hey. Be destroyed. Also give me things. Ooh, a chaos gem. Right. Slimy time. Woo! <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh. Fire gem. So you guys just drop fire gems, huh? I did not know that. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, my, my, my spider sense was tingling and was like, hey, remember, there's a scum here that's gonna drop on you and it's gonna be real bad. Another shard. Hot damn. Hot damn indeed. Why did I think there was... I could swear there was like a walkway that just went across this room. And when I say a walkway, I don't mean like high up or anything. I just, I thought that there was just like, you come down and you walk across the room and that's it. Was it coming from a different direction? Maybe it was coming from a different direction and I just don't know what I'm talking about. Hello? Oh, well, I thought one of these... Swear there was an area where like the rats try to lead you into falling. This might be it. I'm pretty sure one of the, that might be a like a false wall, an illusionary wall, if you if you will. Ooh, yay souls! I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah, and I think it ends up leading to big rat. Oh no, it's the other side of this, right? Which we could see from the other side. I get so confused here. It, it is amazing to me that I ever actually felt like I understood this place at all. Uh, Kualana Pyromancy Tome. Learn Kualana Pyromancies. The, a Pyromancy Tome of... of a pyromancy tome of Quilana containing her unique spells. These pyromancies can only be taught by a female master. Give to a female pyromancer or pyromancy master to learn Quilana's pyromancies. Quilana, the sole surviving witch of Izalith, once uh, accepted a human pupil, but after the pupil moved on, she never took another. Which I believe is supposed to be a reference to the the uh, the what the oh my god the the dude hey the. Not the Chosen Undead. God, what do you call him? Or, no, it would be the Chosen Undead, wouldn't it? The, the... Who you play in Dark Souls 1. So yeah, the, the Chosen Undead. Wait, wait, was that a... The corpse is just flopping around, right? Like, that's... I'm not... I'm not seeing things? This wasn't, like... You're not trying to, to trick me or fool me in some way? 
I, was like, I could have sworn that there was one of these that just had like a hole in it. Yep, there it is. So you're trying to lure me, and I get it. I understand. I, I, I get what's going on. I think... Was it down here? There's... You could see that section where the... There it is. Yeah, you can see it from here, but there's no way to get there until you go in and around. Right, okay. So I, I just wanted to make sure there was no other way to go from here. And there is not, so we're good. Now, if I'm right, there's also a black knight with a great sword, Kind of near where Sorig is. I want to, yeah, I want to say it's near where Sorig is. Because Night Slayer Sorig does actually reside in here, believe it or not. And we've already... Yeah, we busted the wall. We came over here. We got that. Looked over there. Realized there's a pit. Saw this. That goes down. We don't need that. Um, so we need to go this way? Yeah. Uh, and I think part of the reason that I actually felt kind of comfortable with this place at one point... And when I say comfortable, I mean... Oh! I thought I was about to fall down a pit, which is why I freaked out for a second. Um... When, when I say felt comfortable with, I don't mean that, like, I actually felt comfortable, you know, fighting all the creatures. Well, I feel comfortable fighting all the creatures, but uh, feeling comfortable getting around in this place is that um, I had gotten lost in here for such... for, for, for a time, <laughs> and... Uh, so I had spent so much time wandering around looking for various places within this area that they became somewhat familiar. I mean, clearly, I don't actually know what the hell I'm doing, because, you know, anybody who's been watching the channel for a while knows I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing at any point. Ow. Why did I think there was loot back here? Why did I think that? Brain, are you okay? Uh, you are not a mimic, thankfully. That is a lot of large titanite, though. I always debate whether or not I want to drop down here. I think the answer is pretty much always yes. Isolith Staff. Ancient... You son of a bitch. You're stopping me from reading the lore and I hate you for it. Huh. Okay, get me, get me away from this cursed garbage. Whew, Jesus. Okay, I think we're safe. For now. Oh. Ancient catalyst of the Witch of Isolith and her daughters, used long before the dawn of chaos and of pyromancies. With the birth of the chaos flame, the flame witches were at once both sorcerers and shamans. Faith adjusts the power of sorceries uh, cast using this catalyst, and the staff also seems to boost the power of dark sorceries. Are we... okay, we're still kind of cursible, which is not great. Can I shoot you from here? I can. It's not helping me, though. Shit. Okay, well, sure. Let's just, uh, let's, let's murder some, some curse frogs, shall we? Ooh, he's spitting the goop! I mean, I don't know what else I expected, considering what enemies these are. Oh my god! Your goop spitting is very, uh, it just, it's obscene, is what it is. And I do not appreciate it whatsoever. Actually, I don't know if these guys have any particular vulnerability to fire. No, I don't think so. Actually, are there any enemies that are particularly vulnerable to fire? I want to say hollows don't particularly care for fire. Like, when I say don't particularly care for I mean they actually hate it. You know, like, not they don't really care about it at all. Just they, they, they hate it because it hurts them very badly. Ooh, did I? I like Titanite Scales. Uh, I could swear there was another one of you scumbags back here somewhere. Now, Sorig. Oh, Sorig. Sometimes you are a royal pain, sir. This is a, this is a, a trick they pull in Dark Souls, like, a lot. This whole thing where, like, they kind of hide a little section from you with, with the terrain. And it's not hidden, because, like, you'll notice it coming back. Or, you know, it'll confuse the crap out of you when you come back. But it is just like, it's one of those little visual tricks that after playing Dark Souls 1, 2, and then Bloodborne, and then Dark Souls 3, you know, it, it's, it's just something you pick up on, you know what I'm saying? 
I don't even know why I'm fighting your ass down here. Ow. No. You know what? Woof! Ow. Ooh! Ow. My god, that sword. It hits so fucking hard. Okay, this spear is nice, but I think we gotta do the, the twin blades here. We gotta get in his face, too. Yes! Get stabbed in the bum! Oh, shit! Get killed, Sorig. I'm pretty sure this dude killed me a whole bunch of times my first time through this game. Fume Ultra Great Sword and Black Iron Great Shield. I've never actually used the Fume Ultra Great Sword. I might actually want to make a build where I do. What am I doing here? Okay, so we got Fume Ultra Great Sword and then the Black Iron Shield. This twisted sword, the heaviest of all Ultra Great Swords, resembles Black Slate. This weapon, said to belong to a traitor from long ago, was so heavy that it found no owner and became a forgotten relic of history. Stomp, use one's weight to lunge forward with a low stance and increase poise and follow with a crushing strong attack. So wait a minute. Of a traitor? I th wait. Oh, that's right, because Rame left. Right, right, right. Okay. I, I, I suppose that makes sense. Um, Where are you? There you go. Or, there, there you are. Great shield made of black iron, deeply feared for its association with Night Slayer Sorig. Black iron offers high defense and is particularly effective at warding off fire. Shield bash. Without lowering your guard, strike the enemy with the shield to knock them back or stagger them. Works well equipped in either hand. Uh... I'm not going to try to get that item. <laughs> uh, mostly because I, I don't see much point in I, or either of those items, really. Um, I have gotten them in the past, but it's very tricky. And you have to basically pile on the fire resistance if you want to have a chance. If you want to have a, a snowball's chance in hell, you got to pile on the fire resistance as much as you possibly can. I wonder if I can get you to fall. Fall. No? That's disappointing. Fall? Fall. No. He doesn't. Okay. Well. Oh, I guess I'll just have to kill you the old-fashioned way. Ow. Ow. Okay, I didn't hit the button fast enough. Oh, Lord in heaven. What have I done? Well, okay, this isn't so bad, because I did spend a lot of time fighting enemies, and now I can just avoid most of them, I think. Yes? Yeah, I can just avoid most of them now. Because we can just run across here. Wait, run across here? Uh, oh god. I can't remember which way is which. Is this where we need to go? What? What is you? Dead is what you is. Wait, does this lead to the same freaking room? This leads to the same freaking room, doesn't it? Oh, my lord. What have I done? Uh. Now, I haven't fought Mr. Jumpy Man Gru, and I'm wondering why that is. Oh, shit, did I not... Oh, I think I... I think I didn't go in one of the directions I meant to. Shit. Which means I might actually have to spend a little bit more assist than I was planning on. I hate you. Oh. God, you guys are fucking frustrating to fight. Not as frustrating as some, mind you, but... Oh, God damn it. I hate it. I hate it. Stop belching garbage. <laughs> Jesus. This is this is, this is this is how people die in Dark Souls. They, they get too overconfident. It, it, it's like Dark... Oh, fucking Jesus. It's like Darkest Dungeon. Overconfidence. It's a slow and insidious killer. Except in this case, it's a fast and... and uh, f fastidious killer? <laughs> it kills you fast, okay? 
It makes short work of you. Why did I think that there was a shorter way to get here? Why did I think there was a shorter way to get here? I mean, aside from the other bonfire, I guess. No! Stop that! I'll avoid that shit, I'll tell you what. Now, there's dudes that are going to come up behind me, aren't there? I hate you so much, you little shitbag. <laughs> Frenzy attacks are some of the most heinous shit in these games. Is this where is this where I thought I needed to Oh there there he is. There's the there's the prick bag. Hey. Shot in the face, asshole. Get killed. Oh, didn't even have the decency to drop me anything either. What a jerk. So I want to say, like, the first time I... Oh, there's another one! First time I came in here. Fuck me! Oh. First time I came in here. And when I say here, I mean this area in general. Um, I went through here and found... Or saw, found, whatever, however you want to put it. I, no. No. Motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Sure. You know what? I'll wait. I'll wait. I will wait. Uh, I, I, like, this is how I ended up seeing where the Titanite, or not the Titanite, the, uh, the Estus Shard was. I didn't know it was an Estus Shard. I just knew that it was an item and that I wanted it. <laughs> that's, that's another thing about the Souls games, man. Like, I, I love how they just kind of, like, incentivize the exploration in a way because like you stand here you see the item and you're like i can't fucking get it and i want to say i tried jumping to it a couple times and failing uh, because you can't actually make that jump i don't think um but yeah just the way they just kind of show you things and it's like man i want that so bad but i have no idea how to get it and so you run around trying to figure out how to get it no no bad fireballs stop it eh jerks. You know what? Let's swap over to the spear. Because it kills things and gives me health. Yeah. Yeah. Give me that health. I don't know exactly how much health it's going to give me, but it's going to give me something. That's a decent amount. Ow. Motherfuck. Pushy asshole. <laughs> what a bunch of jerks. What a bunch of jerks. Uh, ow. That actually recovers a pretty decent amount of health, I gotta say. Of course, now I've, like, wasted a big chunk of my Estus. So, um... Did I get... Eh, I don't think I... Well, did I get anything? I think I got something for you. Or, not for you, but from... From you? From... For, from, whatever. Um, so for Christmas this year, um, my my mom got me the Dark Souls board game, which was like, holy shit, because, uh, you know, Dark Souls board game, some good stuff. I haven't actually had a chance to play it yet. I'm hoping I will soon, because uh, I'm hoping that actually today when we go to a friend's place that we will be able to play it. Um, the rules are kind of complex. Uh, at, at least they're complex when you read it, but it sounds like... It actually kind of... I, th I think the, the board game is a good representation of what the actual game Dark Souls is like, um, in that, you know, at the outset, it seems kind of complex. Once you get used to it, it's really not. It's pretty simple. You just, just stab dudes in the face until they're dead, gain souls, use them to gain benefits. Uh, profit? Uh, that's not how that meme works, but that's, that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> I thought somebody was following me for a second. Actually, how many shards? Oh, my lord. Didn't we have, like, almost zero shards to start in this place? And now we're up to, what was it, 28? Hot damn. Hey. Shit. Hey, pal. Ooh! Ah! 
Uh huh. Hoppy skip. Run around. Don't let him hit you. That's the way we do. Well, except for the first time I played through Dark Souls One. The first time I, when I played through Dark Souls One for the first time, it was it was less hoppy skippy. Don't let them hit you. It was more sit there with giant armor, let them hit you, and then crush them under the weight of your ginormous axe of doom. Because back then, the demon great axe. Ooh, that thing was vicious. So vicious. Oh my god, it was so vicious. Uh, hmm, I'm contemplating whether or not we actually have time to finish this section. Because it appears to me that I do actually have to go soonish. I think we'll have time to at least do this next part. Yeah, I think we'll have time to do this next part. I am sad that I didn't get to do Cirrus this time, but that's okay. Dragon Rider Bow. Is that something I can use? Uh, no, I need more strength. Wait, do you, you actually scale with strength? That's weird. Well, I guess it's not too weird, because they, they want to give options for strength people, too, to have ranged weapons that aren't, you know, garbage. Like the Millwood Great Bow, which is... Oh, I, I'm so happy that they actually made a, a Great Bow that functions well on, on, uh, on strength. I mean, all Great Bows need some amount of strength, because, you know, otherwise, how the hell would you ever pull the bow? Or the, the string, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we gotta be careful here, because that crossbow is gonna try to shoot us. The, the ginormous crossbow of death. At least I'm fairly certain it can try to hit us from here. I want to say I remember getting shot at in this area. Like, a bunch. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, fuck. Wait, how the... Where... Where... Uh, where go? Oh, there, there, there go. Okay, this, this way? Wait, am I crazy? Is this it? Oh, no, this is it. Okay, I'm not crazy. Oh, well, well, not for this reason. Okay, let's get the extra health because there are some fairly irritating enemies in this area, and I don't want to just explode. Let's buff our, our stuff. Oh, bone wheels. Th these are some of the most irritating enemies in all of Souls, I gotta tell you. I don't remember if they had them in Dark Souls 2. I, I, I want to say they existed in some spot. Or if, if they weren't there, there was another enemy that was equally as frustrating. Although, I, I think they made these guys not quite as bad in this game as they were in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1, oh, they were so bad. Did you just shut her from fire? You're made of bones. What is your deal? <laughs> you, you should not be terrible flammable. Oh, the sirens. Why the sirens? Is it? Uh, can we get down from? No, this is not the area to jump down. I don't think. I think it's further up. Ah, <sighs> oh, the joys of living in a city. Okay, please pass my 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 apartment. Yeah, please. By all means, pass my freaking apartment, you scum. Okay, you're police officers, you're not scum. Well, I hope you're not scum. If you're scum and you're police officers, what the hell are you doing being a police officer? Like, stop it. I hate it. I hate it! Whew! Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, wait, was there anything behind me? No. And this is how we turn you off. Although I don't, I don't think there's anything else for me to do that requires. No, it's just the one ring that we got to get. I think. Can I get? Can you get turned off, please? What what goes on here? Excuse me. I sold the bill of goods. Okay, thank you. I was told that coming up here, I'd be able to turn the stupid thing off. I think I also actually had to come up here a second time because I screwed up something. Like, I think I didn't turn it off. Or no, no, I had to turn it back on. That's what it was. Oh, <laughs> what a pain. What a pain. Realizing that you done screwed up so bad. Or at least now we can get all the delicious, juicy items that are down here, which is like a whole crap ton of large Titanite shards, if I remember right. Wonderfulness. Absolute wonderfulness. All right, y'all, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy it. And if you did, you know what to do. That's your information towards BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.